Ooh. That was awful storytelling. Uh, terrible. This is not how we should make videos at all. Hi guys, my name is Pavel and on this channel I share my cinematic stories, tutorials, vlogs and all kind of stuff related to video content creation. And in today's video I want to watch with you a few videos that I created a long, long time ago just to see if they are still good or whether now I should consider them to be total garbage. And it's not because now I'm so great as but I think it's always good to stop, look back and see if there is any progress in what you're doing. So the first video that I'll show you was the project that I created with my friends from the university more than 11 years ago, in January 2010. We had marketing communication classes and in order to pass them we had to create a commercial video or any kind of advertisement for one of the popular brands. So after a brainstorm session our group decided to create a video for the Converse All-Star Shoes. We all were very excited about it and the video was ready in a couple of weeks. Right away I want to warn you that back then we used some popular copyright copyrighted pop-punk music track. Who cared about a license 11 years ago while doing a student project? So I'll probably have to change it while editing this video to not have troubles later on. But you know guys, enough talking, let's just watch it. Good start. Guys, if you ask me what was the camera I was shooting this video with, I don't remember exactly, but this was something like, you know, these old, ugly Canon PowerShot cameras that shoot videos in 480p's. I remember I borrowed this camera from a friend and afterwards, after shooting, I was editing everything in Windows Movie Maker. Yes, Windows Movie Maker. Ugh, terrible. But that was fun. Wow, was that... what was the seamless transition? <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Guys, the funny part, I was making a video for Converse shoes and I have something else on my feet. Like, why? I don't get it. And now tell me, why did they come to a supermarket and buy Converse shoes? That's interesting. Supermarket? Hmm. <laughs> These shots are awful. It's was dark as hell. And what is that? I just bought her shoes in supermarket. Why does she have them already? Uh, oh my god. Okay, this 69 number of a flat at the end was a nice idea, but but after watching this, I have so many questions. Like, whom did I buy these shoes in the supermarket if the last shot I still had something else in my feet? And the girl met me in the door having already Converse shoes on. That makes no sense. Guys, I don't know. <laughs> this is not how we should make videos at all. That was awful storytelling. Ugh. And this color shifts effect for the entire video. I overused them 100%. It looks like I wanted to use all the effects Windows Movie Maker was offering. You know, but all in all the idea was great despite almost everything was horrible in this video, like starting from storytelling and ending on our groups shooting and editing skills which we didn't have. But everyone is starting from something and I think this is my first video that I put together and I was really proud of. Well, definitely not anymore, but guys, please input in the comments what you think about it and uh, well, let's move forward to the next video. So this parkour training video I shot four years later in 2014 when I already had my own Pentax K30 camera, Samyon lens and a glide cam which I was using for everything. And in this video I remember that every shot here was made using this glide cam. Yeah. Not the best approach by the way at all. Yeah and music here I also replaced due to copyright reasons but if we're talking about cutting the video to the beat it was totally fine in the original video as well, so... 
<laughs> yeah, I, I remember one of the biggest problems I had before publishing this video on the uh, internet was the question should I publish it, you know, with these black bars that give the video this film look or without, like there were no other more important things to take care of. So I published two versions of this video with black bars and without, you know, like anyone cared. Well, basically in this video nothing special happens, you know, these guys have parkour training, you know, do all kind of flips later on. And I was running, you know, around learning these glide cam moves. No story in this video whatsoever, forget. So... Boring! You know what? It's so boring that I think I'll just fast forward to the end just to see how it ends. Yeah. It's somewhere here, I think. Yeah, yeah, the ending is nice actually. Very seamless fade out. Let me look again. Very nice. I like it. Very seamless fade out. Yeah, and this is my old logo PJ video production. Despite all this boring, as I mentioned before, obviously you can see a huge progress within these four years from 2010 to 2014. Well, at least from technical perspective, right? Because this video has better quality for sure, you can see that. It's cut it the way it matches the music beat. Well, you cannot hear that because I used not original track, but believe me, it, it works really good. Well, the moves are not shaky because I used glide cam. So progress detected. 100%. The only thing I still don't like here is storytelling. Well, it's still very far from what it should be. I mean, there is no storytelling at all. Well, guys, write down what you think about this video. I'm really curious. Let's talk about that. And I have actually the third video for you, the last one. Let's watch it. So, third video is about a pole dance I was asked to shoot in 2015, like six years ago. And the girl basically just wanted to present some moves, some um, sequences, because later she needed to show this material to prove she had the skills to qualify for some competition, as far as I remember. And I didn't want to make it very boring, so I incorporated several elements that kind of made it more dynamic. Well, for example, the boxing scene at the very beginning, some effects with magnesium when she was doing with her hands like that. Well, afterwards, there were mostly these kind of shots for about two minutes. Kind of boring, but that is probably what she needed, you know, to document her moves. I also created a longer version of this video to cover each element that she was doing separately, but um, this video is kind of the highlights. I think this clip is much better than a Parker video from storytelling perspective. At least there were some elements of the character, some close-ups, not just you know wide shots like we had with a previous video. And and by the way, the music originally was uh, more aggressive. I used Fort Minor track, so obviously due to copyright reasons, I had to replace it. It's not the same, but still try to match the mood, you know, just to show you what exactly I um, try to incorporate into this video. What else is wrong here? Well, I would say the framing here is too tight. I use a 24mm lens, but definitely it should be something wider, like 16mm. Yeah, it would work much better here, in my opinion. And, and I'm sure I screwed the white balance here. Everything is so purple, guys. I remember when I saw the original lighting in the room where I was shooting and I saw the colors of the walls, I told them like, no, we have to turn off all the lights and I will use just one battery powered LED light. And they'll ask me like, why just one LED light? Because I didn't have more, I just have one LED light. And you know, the scene could be better lit for sure. <laughs> and. I also remember how I was struggling with the focus, as you know, the Pentax K30 DSLR camera doesn't have very good autofocus, and I also used a manual lens f1.5 and manual lens on a glide cam. Horrible combination, just horrible. I think this is almost the end of the video. 
yeah this cat at the very end of the video was was just awesome total and planned it also gave the video some climate for sure well guys i made a lot of videos with a lot of mistakes that i can clearly see right now and i think this is proof that with time we're getting better at what we're doing. There are multiple elements that I would plan, shoot or edit totally differently and that would be much worse if I wouldn't see all these mistakes in my videos from years ago. That would mean that at some point in time I stopped developing my skills. And yeah, that was a really nice jump back in time. Very nostalgic, so many memories popped up in my brain. I really enjoyed showing you some of my works from the past, showing you how I started. I hope in the future, like in 10 years or so, I'll watch my videos from 2021 and will also be able to see some obvious mistakes that I don't notice right now while being on the certain level of my craft evolution. And the only way to find out is actually to not stop, keep working and be patient. And then time will tell. Alright guys, thanks for making it till the end of this video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. Love you all and see you in the next one. Cheers!